Hey, Craig Cottle from Nature Reliance School, guest instructor with DansDepot.com. We started a series on how to use ropes and make knots and stuff of that nature. And today what we wanted to do was show you how to join two different ropes together. There's several different methodologies. Again, as we discussed in the first video, uh, it's pretty easy to put two ropes together. It's not so easy to be able to get them apart. And so with that in mind, we're going to show you some that are uh, useful for just quickly joining ropes together so that you've got them together. But, uh, but something like this is going to be hard to pull apart if you put tension on it. So we'll show you a little bit of both. Again, I want to emphasize for you when we're making these knots that these knots are not intended for use in the, in the climbing world. Uh, those knots are life dependent. So um, a lot of the things that I'm going to show you are just examples for camping and survival methodology. If you want to study knots for the usefulness of climbing, you need to check out somebody else. Uh, I do climb, but I do not intend these videos to be useful for that purpose. So the uh, first and easiest knot is just a simple overhand knot to join these two. And all I'm going to do is turn the rope basically back on top of themselves and pull tension. Again, one of the reasons I brought up what I just brought up is that this is now not so strong. I mean, what is strong here is definitely not as strong through this knot. These are tied together and we can utilize them together now. We could put something on this end and something on this end and pull and it's going to get strong. However, if you put a lot of weight on this, like uh, for example, you use this to tow something with a vehicle, this knot's probably going to be untieable. So I don't recommend it for something where you're going to put a lot of weight on it. Another one that's real simple and a lot of people know already is to tie basically a square knot. Um, one of the things that a lot of people don't know about tying a square knot is that for this knot to stay stable, you've got to have ropes that are made out of the same material and basically the same diameter. So if I had a smaller rope and I tried to tie a square knot, it would tie, but it just wouldn't hold as well. So in this case, these two ropes are the same material, same size. All I want to do is lay them on top of one another, turn one of them over on one side, and then bring it back and tie it back upon itself. So now I've got, oops. So now I've got a good square knot. And again, I can put a lot of tension on this and it'll hold. It'll, the strength of the rope is now decreased because it has a knot in it. Keep that in mind. This will hold, but this knot is going to be pretty tough to untie. So another way to tie two ropes together, and this is my personal favorite, is to basically tie two overhand knots with the ropes themselves. So I'm going to tie or lay the ropes together uh, right next to one another, and then I'm basically going to tie an overhand knot in this side. The blue and white knot has been tied onto the black rope so that it slides. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then I can pull these together. And these two knots will act as stoppers against one another. And the cool thing about this is that the rope is basically one continuous rope now. I can pull tension this way or this way, either way. And it's still very strong. And bonus, and this is why I like it so much, it's real easy to untie, okay? So for a little more secure connection, you can have more of this rope sticking out and basically just do it again to have extra safety on each end. And so uh, you would have not just these knots that are holding together, but you would have the extra that's tied on the rope to make sure that it doesn't become untied in the middle of whatever it is you're using, using it for. This is real easy. Uh, also, you can do this with different size ropes too. So again, that's one of my, this is why one of this is one of my favorites. So what I've done here is I have taken my black rope and I've just made a loop in it for the purpose of tying this knot. Now I'm going to take, excuse me, now I'm going to take my blue and white rope and lay it right on top of that loop. Wrap it around the entire loop and then put it back through that hole. Again, with the purpose of pulling tension on it. So I now have two ropes that are joined and it's gonna be pretty strong. And again, if you look at it closely, this is pulling tension on the piece that's loose. 
Therefore, when you pull tension on them, they pull tighter and tighter and tighter. But again, grab that portion, push it away, push it away, push it away, and you've got a really easy knot to untie. So there you have it. That's some pretty simple methods to join a couple of ropes together. Um, pretty useful skill to have, making sure that you can take one rope and even if it's a varying sizes, you can put those two ropes together. Um, it's one of those skills that's you've got to practice. So what we recommend is to simply go and get you, you know, 10 to 15 foot of rope. It doesn't have to be anything extensive and to uh, practice your knots. And then once you've practiced your knots and you feel like you're comfortable with them, check out what it is that we utilize them for. And you can simply uh, go out, go into the outdoors and make sure you're practicing your skills. One of the things that I like to do is practice these knots while I'm talking to people, as you can see. <laughs> so uh, one of the things that I think that helps me with is being able to practice these when I can't see in the dark and stuff of that nature so that I'm practicing them and I don't have the ability to see them. So uh, that's just one thing that you can add to your practice because you've got to practice these skills to be able to own them. So there you go, and I hope to see you on or off the trail.